Welcome back to the Crystal Cares Yoga channel. My name is Crystal and thank you for joining me here. This is a yoga class for dudes who think that they are not flexible. Many of my guy friends and the men in my family think that they are not flexible enough to even step onto a yoga mat. If you think that you're not flexible, that is all the more reason why you should start doing yoga. And ladies, this is for you too. With continued practice over time, we might start to build a wider range of motion in our body, but don't get too attached to that idea. The number one reason why you should start doing yoga today is to maintain the mobility that you are blessed with right now. I hope I'm still active and thriving when I'm 80 plus years old. And the key to that is mobility, especially of the spine. I know all of you inflexible dudes out there want to age gracefully too. So let's get to it. We'll start standing upright on your feet in a standing mountain pro. So your feet are just hip width apart. Really spread the toes wide and engage up through the legs and through the core. Reach the arms back and then up towards the ceiling, lifting the heart up high. And then deep bend in the knees as you fold over through the spine. No need to get your chest all the way to your thighs or your hands to the floor. Just be with your body wherever it's at. Then we roll it back up to the top. Arms repeat that motion, sweeping back and up. Heart lifts, inhale. Soften over the legs, exhale. And I'm bringing my hands through my heart center in this prayer pose as I fold over. And then let the hips drop down heavy. Again, roll up through the spine. See if you can move one vertebrae at a time. Arms lift, inhale. Expanding through the chest. Exhale, soften over the legs. One more time, big inhale up, heart lifts. And then soften over the legs. We'll hold it down here for a few breaths. Again, don't push yourself into your hamstrings. It's okay to keep a deep, deep bend in those legs here. Maybe you can reach your hands for your opposite elbows. And see if you can just release the weight of your head. Don't worry about achieving a perfect shape. If your back is curved, that's fine. And then widen your stance a little bit, taking your feet just inside the edges of your mat. And then start to bring in a sway, moving side to side. Finding the flow of the movement and moving with the breath. Slowly start to raise the sway to lift you back up through the spine. All the way back to vertical. And then step your feet back together. Bring your arms out in front of you and cross your right arm over the left arm to wrap your hands around your shoulders into a hug. So you might not reach your fingertips all the way to your shoulders, that's okay. You might be here, just reach for what you can. And then lift your elbows up towards the ceiling, heart and gaze lift up as well. And then soften the knees, round the back to release the shoulders down. Release the arms back, swoop them up towards the ceiling to interlace your fingertips at the top. Step the feet together so now the, the insteps of the feet will touch. Pointer fingers keep reaching up towards the ceiling to lengthen through the body. Then exhale, lean over towards the right side. So your hips will stick out a little bit towards the left. You'll feel a little opening through the left ribs. 
Inhale, lift back up through the center. Then exhale, take it over to the left side. Inhale, lift up through the center. Release the arms down, second side. This time the left arm crosses over the right arm and give yourself a hug. Elbows lift up towards the ceiling, inhale. Release the elbows, the spine, the knees, exhale. Arms sweep back up to the top, inhale. Interlace the fingertips and lengthen. Take it over to the left side, exhale. Breathing space through the right ribs. Inhale back to the center. Exhale over to the right side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release the hands down through the heart center. Good. Grab your strap now. And hold the strap behind your back holding on to the two ends of the strap behind you. Take a firm grip on those edges and keep reaching the arms further back. As you do, peel the heart up towards the ceiling. It's a big chest opener, chest expansion. Widening your grip on your strap if you need to. And then soften the knees here. Keep the core engaged. We'll start to curl the spine over the legs. Keep holding on to that strap. Until you find your edge, revisiting this forward fold with the chest expansion. Heavy hips drop down towards the mat as you rise back up to standing, lowering the arms back down by your side, and then release your strap. From here, step up to the top edge of your mat, and then step your right foot back behind you as your left knee bends into a high lunge. Root those feet into the mat so that they're nice and stable. Keep the core engaged. The arms lift up towards the ears. Keep reaching all the way through those fingertips and press the shoulders down the back. Breathe into this right hip flexor right here. And see if you can lengthen all the way through that back leg. Send energy out of the heel. And if you still have to keep it bent, don't worry about it. Inhale, lengthen up through the front leg. You'll rise up on that back heel. Exhale, back to the lunge. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lunge. Two more times, inhale, lengthen. Finding a little bit more length each time and just a little bit more depth each time. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Drop the back heel down towards the mat so your toes will turn out to the corners a little bit. And then open your arms so that they're, the shoulders are squared off with the hips. Reach out through the fingertips for your warrior two. Send your gaze over your left fingertips. And just check the alignment of the knee here. You want it directly over your second toe. Inhale, lengthen up through the left leg. And then exhale, bend back into that warrior, finding a little bit more depth each time. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, deepen. Really use that gaze to focus your energy. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Now like a seesaw, moving your arms over to the left side, reach the left arm down towards that leg, right arm reaches up for side angle pose. If you can, press that left arm against the left inner thigh to peel the heart open just a little bit more. Maybe take your gaze up towards your hand. If not, just keep it straight in front of you. Root down through the feet, engage the core to lift it back, warrior two. Square the hips back off to your high lunge. So bend over the left knee, right leg extends, and then lower the hands down so that the arms are parallel to the floor here. Then draw the left arm back to reach towards the back corner of the room. Exhale, fold the left arm back to meet the right. Inhale, unfold the left arm to reach it back. Exhale, fold it close. Twice more, reach back, inhale. Fold the arm, exhale. Unfold, inhale. Fold the arm, exhale. Use that energy from your fingertips to take a big step forward. Right foot meets the left foot. Back to your standing mountain pose. Hands lower through your heart center. Find your breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Taking this on the second side. Now you step your left foot back to that high lunge, bending into the right knee. Energy out of the back, left heel. Arms reach up, press the shoulders down. Inhale, lengthen the leg. Exhale, bend deeper. Inhale, lengthen, lifting the heel. Exhale, bend. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, drop the back heel down towards the mat, the back toes turn slightly towards the corner for your warrior two, open the hips and shoulders to the side wall and then gaze back over the right fingertips. Check the alignment of the knee, inhale lengthen through the right leg. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, a little more length. Exhale, a little deeper. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right arm reaches for the leg. Teeter totter the arms, left arm reaches up. Keep a hover here so that you're not collapsing too much into that leg. Use your strength to keep you lifted. And find a few breaths. Lift it back up to your warrior two. And then score off the hips to turn it back to high lunge. Level out the arms so that they're parallel to the floor. And then the right arm unfurls back to the back corner. Exhale, fold it back in. Inhale, unfurl. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale, exhale, 
big step forward up to the top. Inhale. Hands through your heart center. Exhale. Find your breath. We'll take a forward fold over the legs, bending the knees as much as you need to to bring your hands down to the mat. We won't be there too long. Then you'll step back to high plank, lifting the hips up high, belly to spine, chaturanga lower, wrap the elbows in, lowering all in one piece. Untuck the toes. Draw the shoulders back, the elbows back, the heart lifts up for Cobra Pose. Heart releases back down. Tuck your toes underneath you, press firmly through the palms to press yourself back into a downward facing dog. So for your downward facing dog today, walk the hands a little bit closer to your knees and keep those knees bent. Bent, bent, bent. Even more than you think you need to. See if you can release the weight of your heels towards your mat. And as much as you can, release your shoulders and the weight of your head. Lower your knees down to the mat into a tabletop position so your hips are right over your knees and shoulders right over the wrists. Cow spine, inhale, lift the head and tail up towards the ceiling. Round the spine for cat. One more time, inhale, cow spine. Exhale, scoop out the belly. back to your neutral spine, then shift over either hip to take your legs out in front of you. We're gonna bring your feet to touch so the soles of your feet will come together here. As your knees just fall off to the sides. So you might want to take your blocks or books or cans whatever you've got and place them under the outside of your legs to keep them supported. Root through the sits bones and lengthen up through the crown of your head. And then if you have a bolster or a nice firm pillow, you can take that and place it right over your lap. And wrap your arms over it. And then to whatever extent you're able to move, willing to move, <laughs> fold over your pillow. And find a few breaths here. Just being aware of the sensations that you're feeling in your body. That's where the yoga is. Not in how far you go in your stretch just in the awareness. And then roll it back up through the spine. Set your pillow or bolster off to the side. And then keep your block under your right leg, slide it out from under the left leg, and then extend your left leg out to the corner. Whatever degree that corner is for you, send it there. Keep flexing through that heel. If you need to keep a bend in the leg still, that's okay. You can even slide your block under there to give it a little support. <laughs> Unfurl your right palm facing up along the right leg. And then the left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. So there's a rooting down through the sits bones and an elongation up through the crown of the head. So can you sense those equal and opposite energies here? 
as well as the energy coming out of that left heel. One more breath here on this side. Inhale. Exhale. We'll switch out the legs. Left heel folds in. Resupport that left knee if you need it. Right heel extends to the side, and then you can prop up that knee. Left palm unfurls over the left leg. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling, rooting through the sits bones, lifting through the crown. And the space between each vertebrae. Use the core to keep lifting. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Release the right arm, fold the right heel in, and then bring both knees back to the center. And with your feet close up towards your hips, slowly recline back towards the mat. Use your core strength to move nice and slow. Shoulders melt back. Ooh. I conveniently have a pillow here. If you want to keep it there, that's fine, or slide it off to the side. And we'll take a few windshield wipers side to side. So with an exhale, drop both knees over to the right side, keeping both shoulders as flat to your mat as you can. Inhale, bring the knees back to center, and drop them over to the left side. Shoulders stay flat. Keep reaching through the arms. Inhale, knees back to center. Take it a few more times to each side. Moving through the low spine. And the next time you fold all the way over onto your right side, keep folding the shoulders all the way over as well and coming into a fetal position. And then press the hands into the mat to press yourself up into a comfortable seat with your legs crisscrossed or any other way you find comfortable. For me, sitting up on a blanket or bolster really helps to release the pressure in the hips, allows the knees to open more comfortably and then we'll take just a few mindful breaths here to wrap up your practice inhale exhale just noticing the sensations in your body and how it feels after you've done some of that movement Last breath, inhale, and exhale. Bring your hands up to your heart center with all of my love and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much ladies and dudes for practicing with me today. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this practice. Please subscribe to Crystal Cares Yoga and share this video with someone who needs it. And I will see you on the mat next time. Later. <laughs>